So let's talk about gifts for a second. Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Martin Cliff. Welcome to another video. And I appreciate, you know, it's less than two weeks until Christmas when this video is coming out. So uh, maybe you're thinking, I've already bought all my Christmas presents. Um, but this isn't something that necessarily needs to apply to just the holiday season. It's something to maybe think about going forward into the new year. Um, it strikes me that there are various different kind of forms of gift. Um, and so often we maybe just go down one route with everybody and maybe you know, it's time to, to rethink how we do that. So before we go any further, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you're not already. I'm trying to build a community as we go into the new year um, and uh, yeah, make this a special place which supports uh, all my viewers uh, and me. Um, so I was thinking about this as I was kind of starting to prepare for, for Christmas time. Um, so I'm filming this, what are we, uh, 19th of October. Um, so this is kind of at the time of year when certainly I start thinking about that kind of stuff. And so it struck me that, yeah, there are different types of gifts, both in terms of, you know, the physical gift versus the maybe monetary gift versus experience, but also in terms of, you know, the kind of the mindset behind the gift. So there is the gift that we want to give someone just because we can't think what else to get them. And then there's the kind of gift that the person really could do with. You know, maybe they haven't thought about it, but you've been really thoughtful because you know them well and you buy them something that, yes, that's, that, that's really good. And that to me is maybe the best type of all gift. And then it's a gift that is something that that person wants. How do you know that? Or maybe you've asked them directly, which is uh, yeah, some people don't like, but other people are perfectly comfortable with. Or maybe you've spoken to their significant other or a close friend or family member, and you know that no, this person really wants this. And then kind of tied for the best kind of gift, I guess, is the gift that somebody really needs. And that can be quite tricky for, for some people because a lot of people are not comfortable with the idea of opening up in that kind of way and saying, well, actually, I really need this. And maybe, you know, the, a lot of the time our experience giving um, might fall into that category because for a lot of people in today's world, what they maybe really need is an evening out. But they're concerned that they can't afford it um, because times are tight or you know some just opportunity to do something different to completely kind of take their mind off whatever they're going through at that time because yeah life has, is complicated life has lots of things but it could doesn't have to be an experience maybe it is something yeah that they that, that they genuinely need but maybe they're not comfortable asking for or maybe it's just something that you hadn't thought of but yeah, yeah, so I don't think, certainly, you know, going back, like my grandparents and, and their generation were never comfortable with the idea of asking what people wanted. Um, and I think over the time, it's got a lot easier. It's like, what do you want for Christmas? What do you need for Christmas? What do you want for your birthday? What would be really useful? What would enrich your life? And I think you know, those are the kind of gifts that hold more meaning rather than yet another mug. Unless you're my friend Helen who collects mugs, in which case another mug might be the perfect thing. Um, but yeah, maybe they don't really need them. You know, it, it is to some, you know, I, I'm trying to encourage you know, my family and my uh, um, and kind of worked this way myself where don't just buy someone a present because you feel you should buy them a present um, yeah there's a lot of pressure on people and we for years like kind of extended family we've done the whole charity thing where we bought some school books for uh, Mauritania or we've contributed to the purchase of a goat in 
I don't know, a Swatini or something, you know, or building a well in Mozambique. And it, one of these things where you're contributing to something on their behalf, so they don't end up with more stuff because sometimes the last thing they need, particularly, you know, people who are, um, you know, have, have lived a reasonably, you know, been reasonably well-to-do in their working career and are now retired, so they need even less stuff than they did when they were working. Yeah, what do you buy uncles and aunts in their 60s? Who are, you know, have everything that they need and then some. So that that's something that's that's worked well for us. But yeah, I mean, it's like, maybe, yeah, someone has a list, and they're sometimes really obscure stuff because we all have, or maybe we don't all have, but some of us have quite obscure hobbies. And yeah, I don't want another book on walks in the hills or particularly like in the UK or somewhere where we don't do it a lot because we're not there. Or, you know, flower arranging or, you know, a, a, a novelty tea towel or something like that, you know. Even even the cool gifts, even the Star Wars mugs and stuff, yeah, it's like I've got enough of, of that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, take me out for a meal. Yeah, we love we love eating out and socialising with friends in small groups. Um, or yeah, ask me ask me what I want. You know, or buy me a voucher for shops that you know I should shop in because that's the other thing a lot of people will say. Okay, the fallback is let's give a gift card. Um, but maybe that gift card is for something which somebody will never shop at. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a real real balancing act. And if you don't know someone well enough to be able to give a personalised gift, why are you giving them a gift? Is it because they give you one? Maybe they are also falling and saying, well, he bought me a gift last year, or she bought me a gift last year, so I need to buy them a gift this year. And that kind of just goes in the thing. It's like the whole Secret Santa thing. You know, I don't know whether you've ever done a Secret Santa at work where um, you know, everyone has to buy somebody and it's a name that's plucked out of a hat, a gift. And it's good because you don't end up with people getting 30 pointless gifts from staff, that, you know, colleagues you don't really know. But at the same time, unless you really know that person, it's really hard because it just ends up being a little bit of, bit of tat that maybe sits on their desk at work for a couple of years and then gets thrown out. Um, yeah, so I think think about the kind of gifts that you're giving someone. Is it really appropriate? Is it something that they genuinely want? Is it something that they need? Or is it something that's just making you feel good giving them? And even if you are and you say you're not sure if it's something that they bought, make sure that they're aware that you know, the, the, one of the things is about a gift is the purpose of it is to be given and to be received. And never make anyone feel guilty for passing on a gift that you give them to somebody else or even just throwing it away or donating it if that's the way, if it just doesn't work for them. Because we don't really know each other well enough uh, to give you know, really thoughtful gifts without asking what people want. So what do I want this year for Christmas? Well, I don't want very much. Um, yeah, I have some fairly obscure things. I could do with some more drumsticks. Um, I like Fatter Manhattan 7As with nylon tips. Uh, maybe a couple of sets of acoustic guitar strings. I really yeah, have very limited needs. Um, a V90 SD card. Yeah, your HS2 SD card because that's still ridiculously expensive. But yeah, beyond that, what do we really need? Nobody really needs it. You know, consumables, yeah, sometimes they're useful. But again, be careful because for, a, for quite a few years, I ended up like buying my dad like recordable DVDs or CDs or whatever back back when you know, he recorded a lot of stuff. Um, and then you know you realise that actually you know you bought them 50 last year. If you're going to buy them 50 this year, maybe they've only used 20 in the last year, so they don't need the 50 this year. It's just you not thinking hard enough about the gift. And to my mind, yeah, if you can't think of what someone specifically needs or you're not comfortable asking them which maybe says something about a slightly awkward relationship maybe yeah you know, think outside the box buy them a voucher for a restaurant they know they you know they like or just don't buy them anything because that's okay too i'm quite happy that at one point 
you know, in, in recent years, um, my extended family all agreed that we would not buy the kind of fringes of the family, we would not buy each other presents. Um, because none of us need the stuff that, you know, and we don't see them often enough to know them well enough. And that works for us. Maybe it'll work for you. Just some thoughts. I hope everyone has a, has a great um, holiday period, whatever festival you celebrate. Um, and yeah, maybe you can just be a little bit more intentional about the gifts that you give other people. And maybe think a little bit harder about the gifts you receive yourself. And you know, have they got, have the people giving you um, developed a good enough relationship with you to know what you really want. Take care, see you soon.